Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the new Orion Dynamo Pro uh, 155 watt hour uh, lithium power supply. So it's a battery, obviously, right? A lithium battery. Uh, our previous Dynamo was a lead acid battery, uh, like a lot of old, older style batteries, even your car battery is lead acid. Um, and they're really heavy, right? For the, for the amount of uh, power you get out of the thing, it's super heavy. Well, this thing's really lightweight. It's three and a half pounds and you get 155 watt hours out of it. There's another big advantage of lithium over the old lead acid style. It lasts a lot longer and it doesn't uh, get damaged as much by not charging it. With a lead acid battery, if you were to leave the battery um, fully charged and then stored away, in a couple of months, it's gonna start to discharge and pretty quickly the plates inside are gonna start to warp and it'll short and your battery's dead. That happens with your car if you leave it in the driveway for three months, that battery's gonna be dead, you can't recharge it. Lithium is much less sensitive to that. So you can leave this thing stored away for the winter and uh, come back and still be able to recharge it and go on your way and use the, uh, use the power supply uh, again. We recommend for uh, best uh, maintenance of this to top it off once every, say, three months, uh, maybe six months at the most. Uh, but that's much better than the older, like every month you gotta remember to recharge the thing. It features a bunch of different outputs on it. On the front, you've got AC, you've got three uh, USB outputs, and then three 12 volt outputs as well. They feature the 5.5 outside, 2.1 millimeter inside um, plug style. And this comes with an adapter to go to a female cigarette lighter plug. So if your uh, telescope has a male, uh, uh, cigarette lighter, you can just plug it straight in, or get a, an adapter to just go straight in 5.5 to 2.1. On the front side here, you've got the power input, it's DC input, uh, it comes with an, adap an adapter to plug into the wall. It also has a circuit inside to plug directly into a solar panel, so you can plug directly in. Um, it's a 13 to 22 volt, it optimizes the, the draw coming in from the solar panel to charge this thing directly from the sun. And then there's a light on the front, five different settings, five, 10% brightness, 50, and 100% brightness. On the front, you've got your control panel here. There's a battery check, and it lights up with five little LED, blue LEDs. Uh, that tells me that it's fully charged. As it goes, it'll start dropping down and less of the LEDs will be lit. And you can even see it turns itself off there. Um, if it doesn't sense any charge on any of the inputs or the outputs, um, it'll turn itself off to preserve power. And on the other side of the control panel, that's the AC output. So it's now fired up the AC output and you're ready to go. It'll turn itself off here in a minute if it doesn't sense me plug anything in. So this is great for obviously your telescope, right? You can plug your telescope directly DC in. Um, if you have a telescope with an AC adapter, you can plug it directly into the AC port. Um, and then if you're just out in the field and you want to recharge your tablet or your smartphone, you've got up to three ports here uh, to do that. So you can charge three uh, smartphones or tablets at a time. Each one's a little over two amp uh, max, the standard USB outputs. Um, if you're charging a, or if you're powering a telescope, each of the three 12 volt sources is wired to the same circuit. So you just don't want to go over 10 amp maximum. So uh, that'll cover any go-to telescope that I know of. Uh, most of them are two to three amps. Some of the bigger ones might be four to five amps. So you could do that plus one or two other things. Just don't go over 10 amp max. The other thing I wanted to mention about the Dynamo Pro is the protection um, modes that it's got. Uh, our old Dynamo had a, a fuse, an old analog fuse that you could just pop in and out if you um, fried it, if you tried to put too much power through the thing. Well, this has an electronic circuit inside that does the same thing. So let's say you put more than 10 amps on the DC, or if you put more than 100 watts through the uh, AC adapter, it'll shut itself down and go into protection mode. The way you pop it out of protection mode is to just simply charge it up. Just plug it into the wall and charge it up and it'll automatically reset and you're ready to go. So there's no fear of damaging the unit if you accidentally put too much power through the, through the unit. So this is a great power source to have, not only just for telescopes, but if you're just a camper or a backpacker and you don't wanna carry a lot of weight, uh, this might be maybe a little bulky for a overnight backpacking trip, but if you're 
car camping and you just need some extra power to charge your phone, your GPS unit, whatever else, the Dynamo Pro is perfect for something like that. So there you go, very handy accessory to have for astronomy or for just outdoors in general. All right, so there you have it. This is the Orion Dynamo Pro uh, 155 watt hour, that's the capacity, uh, 155 watt hour um, uh, lithium power supply with USB, AC, and DC outputs. Thank you very much, clear skies.